Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of what the hey is the Polar Express? Now this question was asked by Rope Wrangler, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now in terms of a very basic description, The Polar Express is both an animated Christmas film as well as a written story that essentially focuses on a group of children who go on a journey together to experience the joy of the holidays. Now when bringing up the origination of The Polar Express overall, it was originally written by Chris Van Allsburg and then eventually directed in terms of the film by Robert Zemeckis. And it's cool because Robert Zemeckis allowed Chris Van Allsburg to kind of help like create the movie and make sure that it was like being done correctly, which is very helpful when like creating a film based on a book. I know a lot of films don't do that, which is very disappointing. And then when going into a little bit more detail, in terms of when the official book was released, that was on November 12th of 1985, and then eventually the film was released on October 13th of 2004. So realistically, it wasn't that far in between when the book was made that a movie was done for it, which is great because the movie, even though this isn't exactly when I describe and give my opinion on it, it's fun. I love it. If you're someone who tends to have a preference on what type of media you're taking in, the book has 32 pages and the film is 100 minutes, so both of them aren't really that hard to get through. However, if you would not like to look into either, I will give you a very basic plot rundown. At the very beginning of both the film and the book, we're basically introduced to this young boy who is very suspicious of the idea of the holidays, specifically Christmas. The main boy's skepticism of the legitimacy of Santa Claus and Christmas in general essentially leads him onto boarding this super fast-paced locomotive that takes him to the North Pole to meet Santa Claus. But essentially all you really gotta know is the fact that the movie tries to help convince people not to lose their spirit and hope in the holidays. And there are some other characters in the book and in the film who kind of try to push the main character in the direction of having more faith in the holidays and not being so skeptical about everything. Speaking of which, I will now go into listing the different characters in the book and in the film. Some of them are a little bit different depending on whether you're reading the book or watching the film, but all of them are relatively the same. But I would argue that there essentially are three main characters for the most part. You have like the hero boy and the hero girl, which apparently they have official names, those being Holly and Chris. I love how Holly's name is kind of festive and holiday related and then you got Chris. Hey Chris. <laughs> There's also this sort of main character, some people could argue that he's not really a main character, but his character name is Billy and he's essentially this kid who doesn't believe that Santa's going to give him a present on Christmas, so that's kind of his whole ordeal with it. Then you have other characters like the know-it-all who is just this really obnoxious kid in these pajamas who knows everything about trains and it's just very annoying. One of the other characters who technically could be considered a main character would be the conductor who is this dude that can just sing and dance and like tries to encourage the kids to go on this adventure and like discover the magic of Christmas. I love him. You also have a few other characters on the locomotive like the hobo who randomly pops up and is kind of like a phantom which is weird. And then you have two characters like Smokey and Steamer who kind of run the actual express. There's also a random puppet that's like the embodiment of Ebenezer Scrooge because the main protagonist is like bah humbug, I don't like Christmas, and the puppet is essentially a reflection of him I guess. That's like a whole weird scene. And then there also is of course Santa Claus even though he's like right at the very end but it's like yay he's real. Before I give my general opinion, I did want to give some very quick background information and some extra little facts about the Polar Express. When specifically discussing the film, it is a motion-captured animated film. It's always so interesting to ask people who have seen the film whether or not they like the actual animation because some people say, oh I love it, it's so fun, and some people say it is like uncanny valley and it's kind of scary. Personally, I'm in the middle. If the initial intent for this question was just for me to discuss the actual locomotive featured in the film, I will answer that very briefly. It's an American 284 Berkshire and it looks so cool. Like, I personally don't know that much about that type of locomotive, but I feel like the amount of detail that they put into it in the film is very impressive. Now, if you would like to actually experience the Polar Express in a different way besides, like, the film and the book, there is a video game. I personally have never played the Polar Express game. 
I don't know if I ever will. Maybe I'll give it a chance at some point. It looks interesting. Depending on where you live in this world, you could possibly go to a Polar Express experience. I made a video about the one that I went to a while ago at like the North Carolina Transportation Museum and I loved it. I personally love everything to do with Christmas and the holidays and I also love the Polar Express so when I found out that there was going to be one near me I was like I gotta go and essentially what it was it was like we went on this locomotive for a while we sang Christmas songs we got hot chocolate we got cookies we got to chill for a while it was epic. There were also staff on the locomotive that like read the story from the book. Unfortunately, I didn't buy the book. Like that was a stupid decision. Maybe I'll get it in the future. But it was so cool because all of the staff were dressed up and also the locomotive was like decorated for Christmas and everything. So it was so fun. I also bought a shirt for myself that has like the locomotive in the mountain. And it has like the golden ticket on the back. I also got a golden ticket that got like the punches in it. And then we also got like the silver bells. So cool. But yes, in terms of my general opinion, I love the Polar Express, both the book and the film. I think that my favorite song from the Polar Express would be the Hot Chocolate song. And it's so crazy because Tom Hanks, who voices so many of the characters in the film, voices so many of the characters in the film. And I really think that the Polar Express, like the film, is probably one of my favorite Christmas films. It's just so fun. One of the only scenes that I don't like from the film would be when the main characters are trying to cross these like railroad tracks that like drop into like a bottomless pit and one of the kids has rubber boots on and he almost slips and dies. Like I do not like that. But other than that, I think the film is so fun uh, for both Christmas and I guess locomotive lovers. I have no idea how accurate any of the locomotive stuff is in the film. I just like it because it's Christmas. But that's essentially the answer to the question, so if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to working on them as soon as I can. I do have a Wix website where you can check out the questions that I have lined up for the rest of the year, so feel free to check that out, but that's essentially it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye!